Hi, I'm Jason Mears and I'm going to take you through VMware Enterprise Blockchain, a gentle introduction. So what is a blockchain? Well a blockchain is a, a tamper evident and tamper resistant store of information used by multiple users or organizations in a distributed fashion. Um, everybody in the blockchain network or consortium as we like to call them maintains their own copy of the blockchain. Uh, this common set of information in the blockchain is obviously ob often referred to as a distributed ledger. So important parts about this are there is one accurate and verified view of the information. It's not stored in a central location. It's not controlled by a central authority. It is distributed across all participants. And each participant can have their own local copy of the information or distributed ledger. Um, so what's wrong with the current model of using individual databases in each organization? So in the diagram you can see there we have six separate organizations and all of them have their own bespoke systems and their own separate databases which are most likely inaccessible and incompatible between other members of the consortium. And if, if this organization, organization A, wants some information from organization E, they probably have to manually either uh, pick up the phone and, and telephone somebody and ask them for it or send an email. And that organization, once it's got the information, will probably um, email it back or maybe put it on an FTP server or something like that. But it's a manual process of sending data, requesting information and sending information backwards and forwards between organizations. And the other part about that is that once the once organization A has got that data from organization E, it stores it in its own database and data very quickly gets old, stale and inaccurate. So how can blockchain improve this? So in this example, again, we've got six organizations, but they're now working together as a consortium. Um, they still have their own bespoke systems as they had before, but now this new system that they've got in addition to their existing ones is, is compatible and accessible between all members of the group or consortium. Um, data is updated live and it's always up to date between the organizations and data is always verified and accurate. So just to kind of kind of summarize that again, there's only um, there's multiple copies of the data in different organizations but there's a single view of the data the data is the same at, at all of those organizations because of the consistency that blockchain gives you so blockchain enables a community of users to record transactions in a shared ledger within that community and I guess the important point here is under normal operation of the blockchain no transaction can be maliciously or accidentally changed or modified once public once published. So this is the advantage for many people on, on blockchain. It's this um, data integrity or immutability. And because everybody's got their own copy of the ledger, it can't just be changed by one person in isolation in one place without everybody else realizing that those uh, that one copy is different from everybody else's. Um, it's also protected by some very, very secure mathematical safeguards. So just an example of this, in 2008 the blockchain idea was combined with several other technologies to create something known as Bitcoin. Um, now Bitcoin was the first technology based on blockchain, but not all blockchain technologies are cryptocurrencies. So an important distinction there. Uh, Bitcoin is based on blockchain, but blockchain does not equal Bitcoin. Blockchain is just the, the method um, or a technology used for implementing different solutions, one of which is, was Bitcoin. Um, the, the blockchain technology used in Bitcoin currently protects around 100 billion US dollars in cryptocurrency. Uh, more importantly, that 100 billion US dollars is publicly accessible on the internet and could theoretically be stolen by anybody with an internet connection if they could crack that security. But in 10 years, not one person has been able to crack the security. So with a 100 billion pound prize in, in public domain, um, nobody in 10 years has been able to crack it so you can be you know kind of reasonably confident that the the cryptography and the, and the mass involved in it are robust but um, because of that it, it's kind of got businesses attention because you, businesses are now looking at blockchain to improve things like security of information integrity the integrity of information and the distribution of information um, and many of them are creating B2B uh, or you know, business to business consortiums to share information in a secure fashion with this ad additional level of trust. 
So trust is something I want to come on to again because trust on the blockchain is about absolute verification. It's not about hoping and wishing that things are okay or a gut feeling or just kind of, you know, thinking that things are okay. It's about absolute verification. Um, trust on the blockchain is provided by complex mathematic equations and formulas. And the numbers and possible permutations involved in these kind of formulas mean that, that blockchain is practically uncrackable uh, with modern computing hardware. Uh, just as an example, if you wanted to brute force the Bitcoin network by just buying lots of equipment and trying to have more equipment than everybody else, you'd need to invest roughly $90 billion every 10 minutes. That, that's how you know, unfeasible it is to try and uh, break this just by buying equipment. So, as I said before, the VMware blockchain uh, that we've been designing for business is known as Project Concord. Um, we announced uh, Project Concord at VMworld 2018 in the US on August the 28th. So, this, this is the technology that VMware have brought to the fold, which is a, a blockchain technology, but it's a business-focused blockchain technology. And then, just kind of in summary to wrap up, just a few key points here to understand. Uh, blockchain is secure. A blockchain is tamper evident and tamper resistant. It's decentralized, so VMware's enterprise blockchain is a distributed solution, but each organization in the consortium can have its own local copy of that information. Um, it's permissioned, so VMware enterprise blockchain employs network security and individual permissions between uh, a group of organizations. And the VMware Enterprise Blockchain Solution is called Project Concord and all of the key components have been released under an open source license. Um, for more information there is an accompanying uh, guide that goes along with this uh, series of videos uh, from the National Institute of uh, Standards and Technology known as the Blockchain Technology Overview and there are links there to the document and a couple of uh, relevant sections. So I hope you found that useful and thank you very much for your time.